Hello? You there? Yeah, um, I was thinking maybe... Should we go sunset? Or... Waterfall? Or... I mean, sunrise really? Anywhere? Yeah, no, uh, I'll meet you there. Okay. We've reached April. If you guys are new here, my name is Joy and I'm here to recap everything that happened this month. I feel like April was just so full. <laughs> like, I just feel like so much happened this month. The beginning of April was like a roller coaster of emotions for me. And if I'm being really honest, I just couldn't bring myself to film my life. I just wasn't in the mood. I was going through too much of myself that I didn't really film and that's okay. But I just wanted to acknowledge that so you guys don't think my whole month was rainbows and sunshine. So finally on April 16th, I decided to bring out my vlogging camera and start filming again. And I am so glad I did because that night I went with Izzy and Amber to Eltham Pub and we had such a nice time. People constantly had been telling me you have to go there. It's such a nice vibe and it really was. Going to the pub, but we found a magical spot. Come here. I did find it. <laughs> Come here, buddy. <laughs> The next night was my friend Alea's birthday and me, her, Grace and Bella all decided to go out for dinner in Byron and it just reminded me how fun it can be to just go out with your girlfriends, get a drink, talk about boys and just, I don't know, it was just a really cute classic night. <laughs> April 22nd, I went to Sunrise with Patty, which was so nice. We hadn't seen each other for a little while, so it just felt like a really good catch up and it was just so nice to see him. <laughs> April 23rd, me, Heidi and Chloe decided to drive up together to Noosa and stay with Bella over the weekend. Bella's sister Jemima was so kind and let us stay in her apartment while she was away. So we literally got there and it was just so good. One of the first things we did when we got there was go up shopping. For some reason, we always go up shopping in Noosa. I don't know if it's because so many old grandmas live there, but they always have so much good clothes. We all found really good stuff. So we were pretty happy about that. It's Bella. <laughs> in her natural habitat. <laughs> Filling up petrol. She loves it. She loves when I film her. Yeah. She loves it so much. Look at that. Gotta get through there. Oh, I love the big black lines. Yeah. <laughs> she, likes, she wants money. She wants money. We don't have money. We don't money. have money. We don't, we have, don't money. have money for you. She's confused. <laughs> she she looks at us. She loves us. There's a bit of a language barrier here. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
Later that day, we actually ended up going to Kenilworth Bakery because apparently there was these really famous donuts and they have these like amazing vegan donuts and like donuts where they literally put like coffee in the middle. But yeah, all us girls went there and it was so good. So we got two Oreos, one Oreo and peanut, peanut butter, butter, one jam peanut and peanut and butter, and, jam, yeah. and then two lemon. They're all vegan. Mm. That's so good. Joy and um, Heidi have just gone to pee. They've got very weak lettuce. Oh, never mind. Oh, but Heidi's back. But this is what Joy is saving for um, for later. And snacks. Yeah, snacks. We finished ours. You never know when you're going to be stuck on a desert island and you wish you had that. Yeah. Donut. Just like a little bit of donut. Mine isn't really big enough. <laughs> I'm going to eat the COVID test. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, we have Joy. Oops. <laughs> the usual thing she does when she comes up to us. Slacks <laughs> on y'all. You're welcome, Joy, for doing your job for you. From there, we continued on to Balumba Falls. I think that's how you say it. The drive there was um pretty eventful, I would say. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to touch you it. Little packet. <laughs> <laughs> Can we <get> scooch? <laughs> trying to get to the waterfalls but to get there we have to cross this road where it's like a big pond come on little driver get us to the waterfall if my engine stops great content <laughs> Honestly, the whole drive was worth it though because when we got there, it was truly breathtaking. I was kind of blown away by how beautiful it was and we just got the perfect weather and I just felt so grateful in that moment to be there. I don't know, it was just one of those moments in life where you're like, oh my god, thank you, thanks for this, I'm happy. <laughs> It is so insanely pretty here. Look at this. Look at our view right now. And you can swim down there.
ended up getting sushi for dinner and then after that we went to the supermarket to go and get some ice cream and because it was late there was no one in the car park and I swear my inner child just came out and I just saw the trolleys and all my dreams coming true and I was like I just have to ride these trolleys around this empty car park and Chloe started to do it with me and then Heidi joined in and Bella joined in and we just had such a fun time just literally driving around trolleys in an empty car park What do we do? do we get out of here? No, I'm asking oh, what you're do we in do? It. We went uh, to the beach. We were standing up paddle boarding. It was so nice. Was the really weather was good. perfect. The ocean was perfect. So we got to go so deep. And you know why we could do that? Almond breeze. Almond breeze, <laughs> <laughs> Almond <laughs> breeze <laughs> gives you the energy mm, to, to paddle do board. the things you want. <laughs> and to go deep. Almond breeze. <laughs> to go deep. <laughs> That's what you said before. We went really deep. <laughs> you want some almond breeze? Yeah, so easy to drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway. And you can do it yourself. <laughs> it was really fun. The sun tired us out quite a bit, so we came home and just rested. And now it Crazy. is already... Oh, my phone's not showing you the time. 4.45, we better go. <gasps> 4.45, all right, sunset time. <laughs> Not a good egg. <laughs> <laughs> Our last night in Noosa, we ended up getting Thai takeaway and just bringing it home and watching a movie all together, which was so nice. I haven't done that for so long. Um, we were all pretty tired, so we went to sleep pretty early, especially because we wanted to go and see the sunrise the next morning. <laughs> drove us all the way home it felt like a really long drive and then at the end of the drive this big rainbow came out and it was just one of those moments where I was just able to recognize how special the past few days were and how perfect and lucky we were to have this time together where we could just truly just enjoy each other's company and be so present. There is just no amount of words that can describe how grateful and lucky I feel to have those girls be like my rocks and my number ones in my life. April 27th, I actually went and saw Jarvis. We went and saw the sunset on top of his car, which was such a cool experience. It was just good to be able to catch each other up on our lives because we hadn't seen each other for 
quite a long time. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Overall, April was a month I will remember. A lot of things happened, there was ups and downs, um, but the ups were pretty damn good and I'm just so... Just genuinely leaving this month and stepping into May feeling so full in my heart and so genuinely excited for the future. I don't know what the future holds or <laughs> what the next obstacle is gonna be, but I am just really happy to be living the life I do and with the people I have. And I don't know, I just feel lucky and I just am happy. I am gonna go, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all very, 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 very soon. Mwah. Bye.